Yes, yes, friends. It is I, Kelvin Chaos, and I'm here with you. I'm going to teach you how to play one of my favorite songs by probably my favorite band of all time, Deep Purple. Yes, the song is Space Truckin', so let's jump right into it. So for the intro, you got this. So that's power chord, G. It's going to be the third fret on the sixth string and the fifth fret on the fifth string. And you're going to slide that up to the fifth fret and the seventh fret, respectively. It's going to sound like such. Da, 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 da. So that's going to be the power chord, the D power chord on the fifth string. Down to the C, to the E. Da, da, da. Then C, D. Super slow. One, two, ready, go. Bop, 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 ba, two, three, four, ba, two, ba, four, ba, two, three, four, ba, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Ba, ba, Really careful on that intro. You gotta count or you gotta feel it. So you gotta say something. Either count the notes or go da 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 da. That's the only way you're gonna get it in time. If you try to feel it out and you don't really know the song well, it's not gonna work out for you. So get that counting in. It helps anyway. If you can sing any, you can play anything you can sing. So even if your voice isn't so great, doesn't matter because you'll be playing your guitar anyway. Your guitar is your voice. And as long as it's in tune, it will sound good. So just use your voice to help you with your guitar playing. I used to be a terrible singer, but since I've been playing guitar, I've gotten really good at it. Anyway, so that's that part. Let's get into the, the cowboy kind of thing. I always say cowboy, I don't know. It's a, it's a blues, it's a boogie thing. <laughs> rock and roll thing, whatever you want to call it, but it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, the Chuck Berry thing. So I got my index finger on the fifth fret, my second finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then I'm alternating between the seventh fret and the ninth fret. It sounds like this. Sorry about that yawn there. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two. Then, that same thing on C and D, but only once per chord. So one, two, and three, and four. Um, um, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So right before we get to the chorus, we start on the D. Then back to the A. Then back to the D. Then the E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Right? So also, alternatively, you can play this D power chord up here. I found it easier to go across instead of going up. It's a little easier for me. But if you're not comfortable with jumping power chords from the cross strings, you can slide this whole thing up to the 10th fret instead. All right, so now what do we have? The riff, the coolest part of the song. play that. We're going to play the open A on the fifth string. And then you're going to do a chromatic descending line starting on the second fret of the fourth string, E, to the E sharp to the open E. So A, E, E sharp, E. Then you do that same descending line, three, two, one, zero. So C, B, B flat, C. 
here's the rhythm. Da 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 So you play that four times. Then you do the same exact pattern. So you're gonna play an open E, but on starting on the open E this time. And then you're gonna play second fret on the B string, so it's B fret, B flat. I'm so tired today. B, B flat, A, then G, F sharp, F, E. So the whole thing. So you only play that three times, then you play this chromatic walk-up. E power chord, F power chord, F sharp power chord, G. Then back into the... And then you do that for the second verse. The third verse, he's actually playing a chicken scratch part. So he's going... So, the chicken scratch, you just mute the strings. See, I have both of my hands covering these, both of my hands. I have my whole hand, so I'm using my thumb and my, my uh, auxiliary fingers, my pinky, my ring, and my second finger, and even my index finger. But that's what I'm fretting with, so you can't see this, but I'm just lightly squeezing down my index finger when I'm playing these chicken scratch parts and that's how I'm getting that part out. But other than that, I'm muting it. Except for when I squeeze it. And then the right hand is just chicka 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 bow chicka 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 bow chicka chicka bow wow right so that's pretty much what it is. Listen to the record so you can gather the timing that he's doing. So then there's a really sweet solo. I will do the solo in another video. But the rhythm part that's going on during the solo is this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, and two, and three, and four, and. So it's on the and. This is a syncopated rhythm, meaning that it is on the off beat, not on the on beat but on the ands, so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, like that. So then there comes a chroma another chromatic walk up with, with uh, power chords, but this time we go all the way up the neck. It's the coolest part of the song. It's probably the coolest part of the album, and this happens to be the last song on the album, so cool. So it's E, F, F sharp, G, a flat, A, B flat, so song. So on, so forth. So that is all of Space Truckin' by Deep Purple. Take a listen, it's off Machine Head, my favorite Deep Purple album. And that's it. Until next time, I will see you later.